All right. Hello, hello. God bless, God bless. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. God bless. All right. This is Bible study. Um, that that last reel was pretty difficult to put up. I definitely cried myself. Just, but I had to. Something told me for the kingdom. Do it for the kingdom. Do it for the kingdom. And you have to understand, I have thousands, thousands of pictures and videos of me and my kids um, prior to to going on Instagram and preaching or or coming out as any type of influencer, right? I had a life, obviously, before this. And um, something just said, show a little bit of your suffering, just, just a little bit, and um, show where I've taken you today. Amen. So, God gets all the glory in that. Um, I don't understand why. Maybe there's someone that's like looking at my life, right? Because social media only lets you see the highlights and it only and, and not only that we get to camouflage a lot of what we're viewing right with music with filters that was raw that was real that was that was just in not not even a teardrop worth of the pain all right and I, it's not something i want to share but it's, it's just for the kingdom now Today we're going to go into demonology text. I already have my assignment for you guys today. And God specifically said it's in alignment, all right? Um, so today I went to church. Well, I'm sorry. Let me rephrase that. Today I went to the parking lot of church. And I'm like, all right, mass is at like 12.15. I was like, and it's in Spanish. Oh. Spanish is my native tongue. It's closer to Latin, and what happens for me is that I have to pay attention to the word just a little bit more, you know? It, it's definitely delivered more powerfully. And I was like, yeah, God, I don't want to do this. And he's like, all right. He said, if you leave, we're going to go and get a sheep. And um, I was like, all right, where are we going? So I went to go get a glass of wine as I read the scripture that I'm going to deliver to you today, right now. And... Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure it was it was definitely in sync. God had me yoked with someone to my caliber. Um, and I was a confirmation for them. Like, wh how, who are you? Like, <laughs> I say that all the time. Like, there's no way. And, I, you know, like, we, we were equally yoked. Amen. And um, I just had to let them know, like, hey, Jesus, Jesus saved me. Like, Jesus walks. I didn't. You know, to me, I thought it was always a song. And then it came up again. Show them what you mean when you say Jesus walks. Show, show them the transformation. Amen. And sometimes even I look at myself and I, I don't even recognize the change. And I could just imagine how much more of a shock it's going to be when they see that their mom is a boss. Amen. My kids. <laughs> um, so... We're going to pray over this word because we're going to jump into the demonology text where we left off. Um, I was specifically told to read Ephesians 6.12 and Psalm 91. So in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Father God, in the name of Jesus, I pray that you cover us with your blood. I pray that you send your angels to protect us, to give us wisdom, to, to be part of, of your kingdom, to be at war for for your glory and your glory alone. Um, as, as we dive into this text, let your word speak through me. Send the Holy Spirit and set, send revelation to us as you need possible. Um, I understand that the purpose of this text is to, to give us understanding of these evil spirits that roam through the world so that we are not taken advantage of so that we may protect ourselves with your word and um we, we understand that you hold all the power glory and you are eternal forever and ever amen all right so ephesians 6 12 Right. It's the whole armor of God. So here it goes. That confirmation. Yeah, my ears are new. The whole armor of God. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord 
and in the power of his might, put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. Amen. Stand therefore, having your lions girt about with truth, and having on the, the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherein ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Praying always with all prayers and supplication in the spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints and for me, the utterance that may be given unto me, that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel for which I am an ambassador in bonds, that therein I may speak boldly as I ought to speak. Amen. Thank you, St. Paul. He said Psalm 91. Before we jump into this next text, because it's I'm gonna prepare you, it's a heavy one, all right? Psalm 91. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side and 10,000 at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high, thy habitation, there shall no evil befall thee. Neither shall any plague come nigh, nigh thy dwelling, for he shall, he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. Amen. Glory to God. They shall bear, they shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou, thou dash thy foot against a stone. That thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. Amen. I will set him on high because he has known my name. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and shew him my salvation. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, we left off at 54, the Testament of Solomon. This text is, we're gonna jump into now that we are consecrated with the blood of Christ, glory to God. We can never give you enough praises, Lord. Amen. We're going to jump into Lilith. Lilith is the daughter of Satan. Cruel bitch, evil bitch, wicked whatever. There is no, there, there is no type of word, curse, except into the lake of sulfur and fire you go in the name of Jesus that could ever, ever just till, till, till the Lord puts you into the lake of sulfur and fire and we bind you in the name of Jesus there is nothing to praise there is nothing to compliment there, it's, it's just pure evil, pure wickedness and this is exactly why we went into those two prayers before, right? 
and um, we're gonna start at okay God saying start at 54 okay thank you Holy Spirit and it says here and I worship the Lord God of Israel and bade another demon come forward and there came before me a dragon three-headed of fearful hue and questioned him who art thou and he answered me I am a call trop like spirit whose activity in three lies but I blind children in women's wombs and twirl their ears around I make them deaf and mute and I have again in my third head means the slipping into the body and I smite men in the limbless parts of the body and cause them to fall down and foam and grind their teeth but I have my own way of being frustrated Jerusalem being signified in writing unto the place of called of the head for there is forepointed the angel of the great council and now he will openly dwell on the cross he doth frustrated me frustrate me and to him I am subject look at that to Lord Jesus Lord Jesus Christ is what bounds this demon continuing but in the place where thou sittest, O King Solomon, standeth a column in the air of purple. One, the demon called Epiphas, hath brought it up from the Red Sea, from inner Arabia. He it is that shall be shut up in a skin bottle and brought before thee. But at the entrance of the temple which thou hast begun to build, O King Solomon, lies stored much gold, which dig thou up and carry off. And I, Solomon, sent my servant, and found it to be as a demon told me. And I sealed him with my ring, and praised the Lord God. So I said to him, What art thou called? And the demon said, I am a crest of dragons. And I bade him, I bade him make bricks in the temple. He had human hands. A three-headed dragon with human hands. This is the, this is, I'm going to stop right here before I jump into the next demon. This is what is talked about in the beginning of the book of Enoch, where the angels the fallen angels were breeding together things that were never meant to be to include something with human hands all right continuing and I adored the Lord God of Israel and bade another demon present himself and there came before me a spirit in woman's form that had head that had a head without any limbs and her hair was disheveled. And I said to her, Who art thou? But she, she answered, Nay, who art thou? And why dost thou want to hear concerning me? But as thou wouldest learn, here I stand bound before thy face. Go then into thy royal storehouses and wash thy hands. Then sit down afresh before thy tribunal and ask me questions. And thou shalt learn, O king, who I am and I Solomon did as she enjoined me and restrained myself because of the wisdom dwelling in me in order that I might hear of her deeds and reprehend them and manifest them to men and I sat down and I said to the demon what art thou and she said I am called among men O Bezoth this is Lilith identifying by one of her many names. And by night I sleep not, but go my rounds all over all the world and visit woman in childbirth. And divining the hour, I take my stand. And if I am lucky, I strangle the child. <sighs> but if not, I retire to another place, for I cannot for a single night retire unsuccessful. For I am a fierce spirit of myriad names, 
myriad names and many shapes. And now hither, now thither I roam, and to westering parts I go my rounds. But as it is now, though thou hast sealed me with the ring of God, thou hast done nothing. I am not standing before thee, and thou wilt not be able to command me. For I have no work other than the destruction of children, and the making the ears to be deaf, and the working of the evil to their eyes and binding their mouths with a bond, and the ruin of their minds, and painting of their bodies. <sighs> There's no words to describe this demon, the daughter of Satan. And anyone that glorifies this child killer, it's just pure evil. And it brought me back to, I was, a, I was a, a student aide, I was a teacher. And there was a little kid that I had in a wheelchair. And he needed, he couldn't walk, he was in a wheelchair. But I would, basically, I would put like a holster on him and I would help him walk to the board and take his turn. And when the kids would dance, I would, all right, you know, like we were going to dance. And he was, he was in... I don't I think pre-K. I think he was in pre-K or kindergarten. <sighs> and um, the kid's bones were breaking. That he wouldn't make it past five years old. And to know that this, this demon, as many things as I want to call her, is the one behind it. Behind all of the destruction that's happening to the kids today it's her and in, in the name of Jesus you will burn you will be bound in the name of Jesus <sighs> so I asked God a question because I'm starting to learn what I need to do in the spirit being spiritually anointed to to cast out demons right and it's not it's not for everyone you have to be able to discern the spirit and you have to be brave enough and you have to walk with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ as long as you walk with Jesus as long as as, as you are direct in line with Jesus there's there, there's no other power greater in Jesus name amen glory to God and um, I asked God a question I said God do I have to ask permission to cast out a demon and this is a revelation that he gave me. No. You're mine, chosen one. Chosen one, chosen one. Someone who is like me. Someone who is equally yoked like me. Chosen in the spirit. Who has authority in the name of Jesus. Amen. And, and they know that they have the spiritual power. You can just say it in your mind. And it's going to happen. Right? Your mind is powerful. That's why you cannot pollute it with things of the world and with that being said I was like okay I got that confirmation from from the dream as well that that I gave out earlier today um how do you know that you have that power because I choked someone out with a fire of God in my eyes that wasn't me and I was praying to God God mercy please God don't fucking kill her God please don't kill her Lord please give her her breath back but I knew why the Lord did that. I, I, I knew exactly why. This person didn't know me. This person was, was gossiping about me. Slander. An evil tongue. And that was the Holy Spirit. That spirit is powerful. If it can do that to a human. To the spirit of a human. Who is wicked. What can it do to these demons? That's that's how you know. You have to have some kind of spiritual gift. We're not talking about, oh, I have strong intuition and discernment. Yeah, yeah, a lot of us do. It's it's a it's a God given gift to all of us. But I'm talking about what power has Jesus given you? And God said that that if that's you, 
You don't you don't have to ask anyone for permission. You just do it. You just do it. And you don't have to go all crazy about it. You just do it in your mind. Because these spirits are, are telepathic. Amen. And that's only for that's only for the, the real chosen ones who who can work that type of I wanna call it magic. I don't know why I want to call it magic, but it's just you know, and it's crazy because I was watching I was watching a Moses scene and when he parted the Red Sea, just as it said in the text, um, the way someone put it in perspective was like, oh great, witchcraft. And someone else said, no, that's our only way out or they were going to die. Sometimes it feels like that. But I, I know that I'm not using... I'm using my 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 power for for God for Jesus for 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 the kingdom of God of, of what is good. Amen. What is love? Deliverance. So we're we're gonna continue. But I just want to let you know that that revelation that was that's a tough one to read. When I Solomon heard this, I marveled at her appearance, for I beheld all her body to be in darkness. But her glance was altogether bright and greeny, and her hair was tossed wildly like a dragon's. And the whole of her limbs were invisible. Excuse me. And her voice was very clear as it came to me. And I cunningly said, I cunningly said, Tell me but by what angel thou art frustrated, O evil spirit. By she answered me, by the angel of God called Aphra, which is interpreted Raphael, by whom I am frustrated now and for all time. His name, if any man know it, and write the name on a woman in childbirth, then I shall not be able to enter her. Of this name, of this name, the number is 640. And I, Solomon, having heard this, having heard this and having glorified the Lord ordered her to be bound that she should be hung up in front of the temple of God that all the children of Israel as they passed might see it and glorify the Lord God of Israel who had given me this authority with wisdom and power from God by means of this signet and I again ordered another demon to come before me and it came, rolling itself along, one in appearance like to a dragon, but having the face and hands of man, and all its limbs except feet, were those of a dragon, and it had wings on its back. And when I beheld it, I was astonished and said, Who art thou, demon? What art thou called? And whence hast thou come? In? Come, tell me. And the spirit answered and said, this is the first time I have stood before thee, O King Solomon. I am a spirit made into a made into a god among men, but now brought to naught by the ring and wisdom given to thee by God. Now I am the so-called winged dragon, and I chamber not with many women, but only with a few that are of fair shape, which possess the name of Tuoxilu of this star. And I pair with them in the guise of a spirit winged in form, copulate, copulating with them. And she on whom I leapt goes heavy with children, goes heavy with child. And that which is born, which is born of her, becomes filled with lust. But since such offsprings cannot be carried by men, look at that. What is, but since such offsprings cannot be carried by men, the woman in question breaks wind. Such is my role. Suppose then only that I am satisfied, and all the other demons molested and disturbed by thee will speak the whole truth. But those composed of fire will cause to be burned up by fire the material of the logs which is to be collected by them for the building in the temple. And as the demon said this, I saw the spirit going forth from his mouth, and it consumed the wood, the wood of the frankincense tree, and burned up all the logs which, which we had placed in the temple of God. And I, Solomon, saw what the spirit had done, and I marveled. 
it consumed the wood of the frankincense tree. So that means that God loves frankincense. It's one of the holy... It's, it's part of the blend of the holy incense to be burned unto God. And this demon just consumed it completely. You better pray that God receives your... That, that you cover it with the blood of Christ before you deliver it up. Now I know. Amen. And I'm going to tell you something. When I read that, when I read that, we're in 2023 and there are men, there are men who are undergoing procedures to have a fake uterus to born babies, right? To, to create offspring. And it says here, Those children that are born of, of those of those men, the demon that, that is behind them will be lust. And it's terrible. Which is born will be of her becomes filled with lust. But I just this is insane. Who would have ever thought who would have ever thought that we would have to not only you know I'm, I'm with I'm with Putin on this one I'm with Putin I'm with Russia that inter entertaining this foolishness of these transgender procedures is demonic it should not be entertained at all and and here's the thing who who went up to Congress I was thinking about it before I jump into the next one which is uh I need to say the number so I don't forget. I marveled. Okay. 63. Who went who went up to Congress dressed like a a man dressed like a woman or a woman dressed like a man and decided to who who in Congress was like, "Yes, I'll entertain it." And I had a vision that they entertained it for money. Because in reality, in reality, if someone came before you, a man, if you're in your right mind, and a man, a grown-ass man with a beard, the whole nine, a, a dick, balls, everything, right? A penis, um, a scrotum, right? Whatever. <laughs> trying to use better terms. Forgive me. And comes up to you dressed as a, cross-dressing as a woman, and says, I'm a woman. And you, you would entertain it. You wouldn't entertain that foolishness. You'd be like, dude, you're, you're a dude. Get out of here. You're a dude. Get out of here. And if a woman came and said, I'm going to pass off as a man. I'm not entertaining this. Get out of here. But why would someone in Congress entertain such delusion? For money. That's the only way for money greed money 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 and now look 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 at the the trouble it has caused and now you're trying to revoke these decrees and deeds and i'm with putin on it i'm with i'm i'm with putin 150 percent on it there's no need to entertain that foolishness. Get you some medical, mental help. Male, female, and that's it. And and there... I really feel like there needs to be... I need to say this. There needs to be some kind of... Set basis... From someone who isn't pro-trans. Uh... Not to say that like I'm anti-trans because some people have already crossed over to that side and they, they're already studying that they've had regrets. Like we have enough data to, to really compute a, a real analysis of the dangers. It's evil. It's evil, it's evil, it's evil, it's evil, it's evil. 
it's Satan, it's satanic, and now it's it's being shoved like it wasn't enough just for you to do it, but now you want to push it onto everyone else because you feel so free. You're not gonna feel so free when you burn in hell because I know him. That I can say with all my heart, I know him. And even then, not everyone's gonna feel like you because not everyone's glorifying Satan. And even then, I don't praise anyone. I don't praise anyone who has decided to take a stand and, and act on this. For God, in the name in the name of Jesus, it's not what He wanted. It's not what I want. It's not what you want. It's what He wants up there. Amen. Ascension. So I'm I'm with Putin on it, because now what's gonna happen is those. I, I, I always ask, God, what's going to happen to these, these children that are not birthed of mothers? That are not birthed of women? They're going to have demons tied all over them. I call them manufactured babies, alright? This is not an easy word. I, I, it's just, it's what he wants. So, go Putin. Uh, it's something that needs to be adopted all over the world at this point. Apparently, America is just greedy and we're going to continue so and I Solomon saw the spirit what the spirit had done and marveled this next demon this next demon is going to be a familiar demon to those of you who play video games and having glorified God I asked I asked the three dragon shaped demon I asked the dragon shaped demon and said tell me by what angel art thou frustrated and he answered me by the great by the great angel which has its seat in the second heaven which is called in hebrew baza bazazeth b a z a z e t h and i solomon having heard this and having invoked his angel commanded him to saw up marble for the building of the temple of god and i praised god and commanded another demon to come before me all right i think this demon i've heard him i don't play video games i usually like watching someone else play video games or used to chronos god of war I'm pretty sure that's a character that's a demon. And everyone's thinking it's so cool to play these video games. So let's let's go into the text. And there came before my face another spirit, as it were a woman in the form she had, but on her shoulders she had two other heads with hands. And and I asked her and said, "Tell me who art thou?" And she said to me, "I am NS Anepsigos, who also have a myard names, and I said her, By what angel thou art by what angel art thou frustrated? But she said to me, What seekest, what askest thou? I undergo changes like the goddess I am called, and I change again and pass into possession of another sheep. And be not desirous therefore to know all that concerns me. But since thou art before me for this much hearken, I have my abode in the moon, and for that reason I possess three forms. At times I am magically invoked by the wise as Kronos, and at other times in connection, I need to say this, connection, connection, I have to say it like that. Okay. In connexion with those who bring me down, I come down and appear in another shape. Because it doesn't say connection. The measure of the element is inexplicable and indefinable and not to be frustrated. I then, changing into these three forms, come down and become such as thou seest me. But I am frustrated by the angel Rathanel who sits in the third heaven. This then is why I speak to thee. Yonder temple cannot contain me. 
I therefore Solomon prayed to my God, and I invoked the angel whom Anesigos spoke to me, and used my seal, and I sealed her with a triple chain, and placed beneath her the fastening of the chain. I used the seal of God, and the Spirit prophesied to me, saying, This is what thou this is what thou, King Solomon, doest to us. But after a time thy kingdom shall be broken, and again in season this temple shall be driven asunder, and all Jerusalem shall be undone by the king of the Persians and Medes and Chaldeans. And the vessels of this temple which thou makest shall be put to ser servile use, uses of the gods. And along with them all the jars in which thou dost shut us up shall be broken by the hands of men and then we shall go forth in great power hither and thither and be dismayed all over the world and we shall lead astray the inhabited world for a long season until the son of god is stretched upon the cross for never before doth arise a king like unto him one frustrating us all whose mother shall not have contact with man. Who else can receive such authority over spirits except he, whom the first devil will seek to tempt, but will not prevail over? The number of his name is 644, which is Emmanuel. God is with us. Wherefore, O King Solomon, thy time is evil, and thy years short and evil, and to thy servant shall thy kingdom be given. And I, Solomon, having heard this, glorified God, and I have marveled at the prophecy of the demon. I did not credit it until it came true. And I did not believe their words, but when they were realized, then I understood. And at my death, I wrote this testament to the children of Israel, and I gave it to them, so that they might know the powers of the demons and their shapes, and the names of their angels, which these angels are frustrated. And I glorified the Lord God of Israel and commanded the spirits to be bond, bound with bonds inducible. Now, we're going to stop there. And I think what I'm going to say is about that video game, God of War, Kronos, this demon. You guys invoke these spirits by watching it on TV. You guys invoke these spirits when you're playing video games um right and they take you through through their history and you become more familiar with that spirit and i remember when i was watching it i god of war i was like yo why does he have two heads it's satanic it's demonic why and then we go to i remember i was like why are you going what are you going to the shop for what are they selling right potions magic uh why are there jars why are there heads heads and jars these this is this is a demonic realm at the time i didn't know i just thought it looked like a beautiful game i was just like i was uh, amazed by the artistry right um and little do you know that you're playing with satan little do you know that and I don't even play video games. I'm just a spectator. I'm just watching. That's bad enough too. Um, praise God. I hope that that gave you wisdom and understanding. Um, it definitely gave me understanding. To I, I've heard of the name Lilith. I've heard of the name Kronos. I, I, you've heard of these terms or these names or these demons once upon a time. But I... I personally don't know how to defeat them i i never knew number one now we know how to defeat them and that's with what jesus christ they're all frustrated by the same angel which is lord jesus emmanuel that's him jesus yeshua Jehovah. amen um anything else oh and then the archangels raphael archangel michael and urel I'm pretty sure there's 12 archangels. Um, there's levels of heaven. And you have to understand that it, it's such a gift. It's such a gift to be able to hear from, from the throne of heaven. From the first, from the throne of God. The, the, the only true heaven that these demons are, are casted out. There's levels to heaven. 
there's doors to heaven. Twelve doors, exactly. Amen. And um, <laughs> what, what a pleasure, I guess, it is to, to be able to have seen the gates or the doors of heaven, the entryway of heaven. Um, it's a real place. And these demons are not allowed to go back home. And they are, they are, they're, they're doing it in real time. We're getting closer and closer to, to biblical prophecy. And as long as you know what you're, now you know what you're fighting. You know that these spirits are real and that they're roaming the earth and that they're frustrated by the, by the one true living God. The one true living God who died for you on the cross. So cover yourself with the blood of Christ. We're going to close this out with prayer to Archangel Michael. Um, I hope this gives you insight to maybe put some of those video games down. And maybe refer someone back to this video and say, hey, this is a priest. This is a prophetess of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And that's the revelation, all right? Um, and this is something that EA Sports is in the game. doesn't tell you, all right? <laughs> They don't tell you. They just want to make money. And, you know, the truth is the church doesn't sell. The church doesn't sell, right? But there's a time where these spirits, my spirit was tormented. And I was just trying to be a doctor and heal others. I was just trying to do the right thing my whole life. Not knowing God. Just do the right thing. And I suffered and suffered and suffered. And these demons lead you farther and farther away to, from God to give you this false sense of happiness, this false perception that everything's okay. And the second you choose to break out of that, they're going to come at you like that. That's why it's so important to be covered with the blood of Christ. So I, I pray that that when you, you see these demonic traits, video games, these commercials, these advertisements, um, movies, sequels, that you start understanding what's really behind that screen, all right? Uh, and, and what demons working behind them. So uh, we're going to pray to Archangel Michael in Spanish and in English, all right? So in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. San Arcángel Miguel. San Arcángel Miguel, defiéndenos en la pelea. Soy nuestro amparo contra la maldad y las lechanzas del demonio. Del demonio. Reprímale Dios como reñidamente te lo suplicamos. Y tú, oh príncipe de la mesa celestial, armado con el poder divino, precipita al infierno a Santanas y a todos sus espíritus malignos que para la perdición de las almas vengan por el mundo. Amen. Saint Michael, Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him. We humbly pray and do thou, O Prince of Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all evil spirits who wander through the world seeking the ruin of souls. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. I cover you with the blood of Christ. I bless you. I grace you. Love you so much. Take care, brother and sister in Christ. I'll see you soon. All right. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. All right. God bless.